Thermography is being touted a lot in my my patient population as a way to screen for cancer. It's not. Wait, I this is very interesting. I've had several guests recently that talked about that as, uh, instead of mammogram. Would so? Do you disagree? So the thing when someone asks me like, how am I supposed to communicate about it? Like, I have patients coming from all over the United States, and we have a system in place currently with ultrasound and mammogram that I hope is replaced with a. Uh, a technology called uh, QT imaging, and that itself will probably set the standard, but it's not been studied and shown um, because there's this language, it's called BIRADS, and that allows every provider around the country to communicate about what they found. So if you went and got an ultrasound or a mammogram, they would say BIRAD, and they would say, you know, one through five, and that would characterize, you know, benign to malignant, but thermography doesn't have any kind of standardization like that. Okay. So, and we have thermography in the office, but we're using it really to to look for areas of inflammation and then over time try to follow the trends to see how that's recovering. Because I'll have people come with swollen lymph nodes and uh, armpit swelling and, and pain in different areas. And sometimes there'll be some really um, characteristic changes, but in terms of like being able to communicate about that from a cancer perspective, I, I can't. I, mean, I get asked a lot, but I can't. 